Hey everyone and welcome to this modding spotlight featuring the Tyrannosaurus by Morinada. The Tyrannosaurus is a closely related cousin to the Mosasaurus, so we can expect another cool underwater creature for Ark Ascended. This mod is already available for crossplay, so console players, you get to enjoy it immediately. And some of you may recognize the name of Morinada as the talented artist and author behind the Indominus Rex and Indoraptor mods, something of which I still haven't tried myself yet and I really should. Now, as far as I can tell, the Talosaurus does not have a dossier. However, the description does read that it's supposed to be a fast and agile tame that utilizes venoms. And checking the saddle requirement, the Talosaurus saddle is unlocked at level 70, as opposed to the Plesiosaur at level 64, and the Mosasaur at level 78. So definitely an in-betweener between the two. Now I'm going to be using the Saka Sukas to try and find a Talosaur out in the wild. And the reason why I use a Saka is because I think a Mosasaur as a high level, you know, engram unlocked creature will probably just smash the Talosaurus. I don't know that, but I assume that's going to be a bit of a boring encounter. Whereas a Plesiosaur, they suck. I refuse to use one. So I thought the Saka would be an interesting one to experience this with. Now, the Tyrannosaurus is something I don't really know anything about, aside from what's said in the description, and that is supposed to be, <laughs> too so, that is supposed to be a creature that can spawn in the mid to deep ocean elevation. However, this is something I've been really curious on trying, because while working on my own Mosasaur project for Paleoarch, watching Morinada work on their Tyrannosaurus at the same time was just really cool, and I was really trying to make sure that our Mosa was, you know, distinctly different, had these two really cool creatures that can work side by side. So both as an artist, as well as a avid ARC fan, I'm really curious on just what Morinada's done for the Tylosaurus. Very, very excited. So after spending a good hour searching for a Tylosaurus, both before and after a Dino Wipe, it does turn out that as of January the 19th, 2024, Tylosaurus spawns are bugged and this is being heavily reported. So I assume it's gonna get fixed very quickly but that does mean that I can't show you an actual organic finding. So let's spawn one in. Hopefully it doesn't immediately kill me. Oh, it's green. It's green. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh God, it's beautiful. Oh, why is there a plesiosaur? That is beautiful and scary. And why is it so green? I wasn't expecting it to be green. Oh, but oh my God, that looks so cool. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, it's so weird seeing the non chunky Moser or Tyler, whatever. Like, I'm so used to seeing the Moser silhouette that seeing anything different, anything leaner is so cool. It's got a very, very large attack range. That does feel a little bit busted. Why are there gonna be so many other creatures? God damn it. <laughs> so, it's clearly slightly faster than that of a plesiosaur, definitely faster than the sharks, although that's not really an achievement, let's be honest. The tail, oh my god, the tail flips out so far, it's beautiful. <laughs> Why's it gotta be green? <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. I just wish there wasn't all this other crap attacking me. Uh, all the animations, it's so fluid. <gasps> oh god, I hope the Moser's like this, the Evo Moser. Oh, that's beautiful. And the way it's ahead. Oh god, that did a lot of damage. 327? I'm rocking a primitive saddle, by the way. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, it's safe to say that when the spawns are fixed and you come across these in the wild, one, be worried, and two, you will notice it. Okay, let's see if I can fight it. I highly do- Oh my god, the attack speed! Yo, bro is fast and it is speedy and I am getting shredded on my Sarko. Again, doesn't help there's a whole bunch of other crap attacking me as well. I guess an important thing to note is I did not check its level. So let's heal up. Let's do it again. Level 40, purple. There we go. So here's a much more even fight where I'm not getting attacked by... Oh my god, a bunch of other things. Oh, this is a sea creature. Look at you go. Wow, it's all over the place. This really is a fast and agile team. And I'm on a Sarko, so I can, you know, spin back and forth quickly. Oh, you are beautiful. His eyes are so vivid. Oh, he's creepy in the best way. So, can I use the spyglass or this? Uh, oh, I am barely touching it. Oh my god. Hold on, let's get another reading on that. 7,000 health at level 40. What? Oh my god. Yeah, I've not got a chance of a... Oh my goodness. I don't have a chance of doing anything while in the Sarko, which is great. I like that. It means you can't just go in and cheese. But I think it's safe to say... Actually, is it? 
I kind of feel like that even a Mosul would have a hard time with this. Oh, but it's so intimidating. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm now on a level 50 Mosasaur, tamed up to 75 with a primitive saddle. That guy just whacked me from a good distance. This is a level 35 Tylosaur. And the biggest issue I'm noticing is that I can't even reach the bugger. Hold on, let's try. <laughs> turn radius moment. I can barely slowly net positive turning. No, I don't think I'm netting positive at all. I don't think I can catch it. But when it does this big crazy flip around, it can definitely catch me. Um... Yeah, it's safe to say you're probably not going to fight this with a Moza. Oh, oh, actually, oh my... It's level 35 and it just hit me for 411 and I can barely touch it because... I, uh, because again, turn radius. Oh, the way it just kind of whirls around, it feels so wild. But I suppose this Moza is doing work, which I guess does make sense. If I can actually land the hits, which so far I am. So I guess just, you know, sit there and tank it seems to be the most effective solution. Very interesting damage image. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's getting low health now. 411. And you think, right, I'm on a level 70 Moza versus a 35 Tolo. This Tolo, that did work. That actually did work. It did nearly 3,000 damage. My God. All right, so we've seen one in the wild and they're surprisingly formidable. So I'm going to try knocking one out. Now, these are currently just knockout, standard knockout teams. Uh, I say currently because according to the mod description, it also emphasizes currently, so that kind of implies it's going to be changed one day. I don't think I'm going to be able to just shoot this guy, or maybe I could actually. I don't think I can survive just shooting this guy out in the wild, so I'm going to try and trap it. And, uh, oh god, this, <laughs> this is going to be easier said than done. Hold on a second. So this is, again, how I would personally do it, given this situation. Oh, good lord. He is absolutely hurting. Oh, well, I suppose this works. Oh, you know what? There's no way that works. Hold on. Can you get that? Wait, hold on, hold on. There's no way that worked. I think that just worked. <laughs> you poor bugger. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Oh, they changed Behemoth Gateways. They no longer had the caps. That's why they didn't work. I'm very used to... Oh, no! So you, you can't... Oh. Oh, dear. You can't just gateway trap anymore. That was my favorite strategy. Um, interesting. Well, I guess in that case, we're just going to have to get good. Do a bit of a flip. Do a shoot. Do a flip. Flee away. Reload. Oh, this is going to take some time. This is going to take some time. Do a flip. Shoot, miss, do a flip, and flee. Oh my god, it doesn't help that it has such a crazy attack range either. Oh, but it's already missing. It is only level 15, this one. I am just spawning in random levels. Oh, are you already fleeing? I did just see a tail. I thought I saw a tail. Wait, where'd you go? Oh, no, it jukes me. It's a cheeky bugger. It did something and it... <laughs> cheeky, cheeky. Oh my... God, the damn it! Level 15, by the way! 326 damage! Okay, so it turns out that Torpor Drain is very fast, and because it's a standard knockout team, I don't think anyone really wants to watch me swim in circles to build a trap. It's kind of standard gameplay that we're all used to, and I think we'd all really prefer to see what it can actually do tamed, so we're just going to skip that process because you know what's going to happen. Uh, let's go check out the tamed version instead. Oh, so this is always a good sign. Just like the Rhenia Natha, when you first use it, you get a bloody cheat sheet on the right hand side. Thank you, Moro. That's that's actually really handy. So, water jump on moving. Uh, oh, I love the flip at the end. Oh, hello. Hold on. Can I do that again? Seems to have a bit of a cool down. Oh. Oh, that's so nice. That's really, really nice. Also noticing pheromone venom on the bottom left-hand corner. So switch venom modes is R. We're on torpidity venom, deadly venom. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. X is to inflict. C is an agile attack. Death rolls right click, melee's left click. This is cool. Oh, this is really, really cool. Really considerate to have the little cheat sheet there. I do like that. So let's go ahead then and the basic melee is respectable. So this is only level 22. Just a little random summon. 
Just like the Sarko, it also spins around. Oh, hello. Are we immune to shocks? We're immune to shocks. It looks like we're immune to shocks. Hold on. Let me just actually sit and wait. Uh, no, not immune. So, one thing I am noticing, both right now and from attacking the wild ones, is that the hitboxes do seem just a little bit jank. It's very, very playable. It's definitely good, but there's a, just a little bit of an offness every now and then. The speed on this guy is actually really nice, and the turn radius is... Ooh, deceptively tight. Ooh. Because of the animation, it kind of feels like it's longer than it actually is, but a turn radius is tight. It's not to mention... It does that. I love that. I love this. This is why I use Asako. I love when dinos can just switch rapidly like that. It just makes the gameplay so much more friendly. Oh, hello, Moza. All right, then. Venom. So this is a... Wait, I don't want to do pheromone venom. What am I doing? Let's switch to... Let's switch to torpidity. So you are... Oh, hold on. I'm still getting super binoculars. Do bear with. There we go. So you're a level 50 Moza. And with Torpidity enabled, I think it was X. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, good, good, good. So it's very, very clear when you do it. Oh my god, the Torpor! Hello? That did 2,000 Torpor with a single bite, but I do now have no stamina. I think it's just because I was sprinting a lot. Hey, sir, let me just, uh... Oh, wait, no, I can't. Is there a cooldown on this? Oh, oh, I'm producing Venom! Okay, so the Talosaurus is actively producing venom, and this Mosasaur just left. Why did you just leave? Come back. We're not done. There we go. So did I actually use one? It did use one. Oh. And considering that a single bite does 2,000... Oh, I actually did less that time. Hold on, try again. 2.8. 3.8. There we go. Yeah, yeah, it does do about 2,000, but now I'm obviously I'm out, so you actually have to wait a while for it to produce. Oh my god, that is so cool. Right, so I'm thinking then, already off the bat, it seems really, really worth it to get a low-level Talosaur to then get a high-level one. So these guys tame themselves, tame each other. And it seems like that the, the hassle to get a low-level one would be massively, massively worth it. Okay then, let's try. Oh, that was a misclick. Oh, but that's a very cool misclick. That's the death roll, I think. That's a long animation. Okay, deadly venom. Let's try the deadly venom then. Come here. There we go. So that is doing quite a fair dot damage, I would assume, percentage. Okay, so I think it did about 5, maybe 10% of the um, health of the Mosasaur. Which I would absolutely assume works in alphas because Megalodon bleeds work in alphas, so why wouldn't this? Got another deadly venom? Come here, you! <laughs> that is wild! And, of course, uh, one that I'm really keen on trying is the pheromone. Okay, so I have just been experimenting a bit with the pheromone and I personally can't get it to work. I think just because I've done a dino wipe, there's not really anything to aggro onto, even I'm trying to spawn creatures in, I don't think it really works. So we're just going to go ahead and skip that because I don't think you want to see, you know, things not working as intended. But I will say though, oh, please click. I will say though that the Tupidity and Deadly Venoms are really, really cool. So let's try the Agile attack. That is 700 damage. Hello? A very long animation. Let's go ahead and turn around. Are you stunned? Why are you just sitting there? Oh, I think it was stunned. Okay, let's try that again. Actually, let's wait till it attacks me and I'll try it again. Okay, here we go. So attacking head on. We'll do the agility attack again. So I just did 700. It appears to have stunned it. And I guess only, it only hit for the one time. So it just does the one hit, but it does a stun and like a really, really big hit of that. Wow, okay then. And there is also the right-click death roll, which has a fairly small cooldown. You can't spam it, but you can do it fairly frequently-ish. Hey there, good sir. Damn. So, I have to admit, this is a creature I do think is a bit too strong. Now, this is a level 90 Moza against my level 27 primitive saddle, non-imprint Talosaur. On the one hand, 
The venoms are really, really nice because first, it takes a lot to knock out. You know, I actually would have had to put the effort into a serious trap design or very persistently knocked it out somehow or have a friend if I'm not doing it solo. So it definitely is an effort to knock out. But in terms of what you get out of it, a percentage base damage makes sense because the ocean is busted. Everything's got really bloated HP pools, so it kind of makes sense. But right now, fighting one on one, I've only leveled five points into melee. And this level 90 is definitely dying before me. And I only have 5,000 HP with a crappy saddle. This has got 13,000 HP, this Moser, and I'm absolutely wrecking it with just my left click attack. Let's do a little bit of a right click. That did one 100. Let's do a big C, the big agile attack. I've stunned it. I'm about to die. But, oh, there you go. Yep, I killed it. And that was with me mucking about. So, it's not fair to call that a close fight. <laughs> this Tylo was strong and I wasn't using the Venom. I wasn't using the Torpor. Then the Torpor would have healed it. Uh, actually, that being said, what if I use it on myself? No, I, I don't think it does. No, okay, never mind. Regarding the Venom, it does say that it increases your health but puts you to sleep, but I think that is just a copy from the Narcotic uh, tooltip because actually using this, it does actually give a little bit of Torpor, or at least, uh, yeah, it does give Torpor, but it definitely doesn't heal. So don't try feeding it <laughs> to your Tano to heal because that will not work. You can, however, use it to craft Narcotics. It actually is um, a substitute for Narco Berries. I'm not sure if it's one to one or five to one, but it can be used to craft Narcotics. So one thing I want to find out is, uh, oh yeah, this can definitely be grabbed by Tuso. Oh, good God. So I've just spawned in like a random level 142. 142, primitive saddle, looking really cool. I can still do the big attack <laughs> while gripped, which I'm gonna admit is pretty damn funky. Can I poison you while I'm grabbed? Uh, no, actually. Oh, but you did let go. Could I still... Ooh, oh, no, God, that teleported. Well, never mind. Uh, I cannot dodge the grab. <laughs> but I can do the agile attack while grabbed, although it doesn't actually do anything because I'm technically too far from the hitbox of the Alpha Tuso. So it's safe to say that these guys aren't completely unbeatable. You know, sure, I could just melee it. Actually, no, I can't. I could a moment ago. Yeah, no, uh, safe to say that a uh, Alpha Tuso, maybe even a regular Tuso, will wreck you. Which I have to say, oh my god, I've not even touched it, is a little bit of a relief. Oh, and it's dead. Oh, and so am I. We're just gonna quickly... There you go. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry. Completely irrelevant side note, I will just say that I really like their colours. Oh, and the tongue! <laughs> That's adorable! Hold on, do it again, do it again. <laughs> oh, I love that. I do love their colours, their big intelligent eyes, and I <laughs> love the little serpent tongue. That's really, really cute. Now, one thing I do want to find out is how is this against the Glaucus? Another modded dino, but if you're going to be having one mod, you're probably going to be having multiple mods. Oh, and how are you against a jellyfish, actually? Oh, what? I just hit that, what, for over a thousand damage? Sorry, what level am I again? 135, zero melee leveled. It's satisfying to one shot a jellyfish, so I guess even if they do stun me, it's not really going to be an issue, is it? Let's do another sea attack. Oh, I hit that one. Oh my god. Well, that is satisfying. How do I fare against a Glaucus? Hey there, sir. Let's just go ahead and uh, get a bit lower. Oh, well, that's good to know. So if you're going to have the Tyler Sword, definitely have the Glaucus as well, because at least that way you're not completely, you know, in charge. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would recommend the two together. <laughs> They're both fun together. So my final thoughts for the Talosaurus are a little conflicted, but overall very, very positive. On the one hand, the model is absolutely beautiful. It looks fantastic and fits Ark very nicely. It's extremely intimidating to encounter in the wild. Movement-wise, it's everything I've wanted in a sea creature. It just feels like a sea creature as opposed to every other Ark ocean dino that just feels like a bloated slow tank. The overall attacks are very creative and I especially like the whole venom mechanic. I think it's really good and I like the way it's charge based so you can't just spam it. You actually have to mitigate based on what your creature is actually producing and has in its inventory. 
So overall, really, really fantastic, and I really do enjoy this a lot. But on the other hand, considering that this is post nerf, I do feel like that the base melee and percentage based melee together is a bit too powerful. Plus the 20% torpidity per bite as well is quite nutty in comparison to what's already a speedy, powerful creature. And this is where I get very conflicted because on the one hand, it fighting a Moza was an absolute piece of cake. It was very, very easy. And I feel like a Moza should have been a bit more of a threat. So I mean, a Tylosaurus and Motosaurus are cousins. So I guess it makes sense it can go toe to toe. But I felt like that my very low level one too easily killed a very high level one. And that was with no imprint, no level, it's a basic saddle and not using any of the special attacks, just basic melee. But on the other hand, it does kind of highlight the big issue with Ark's Oceans where everything is just slow tanks. I mean, I can imagine it being very difficult to balance a creature around the entire gameplay having bloated HP. So I guess it kind of makes sense for you to have a creature that does such high HP because how else are you going to compete? I do know that in single player Ocean Caves, the spawns are absolutely busted and the Talosaurus would probably rock in there. Even then would probably still be at risk because it can get too so grabbed, it can get slowed by eels and it can get dismounted by Nadaria. But then in a server cave, it will just absolutely wreck and it will be no competition whatsoever. So it's super powerful, but it's very vulnerable to CC, but it also knocks out very easily. Although if you're going to get a Talosaur, you don't really need a Moza, so the knockout isn't really that big of a problem after all. It's very interesting and like I said, I'm very conflicted, but overall, ultimately, it is a fantastically well-designed creature and I really love what Mora's done with this. Again, I've not played any other of Moro's mods yet, so this is my first impression. And I really, really like it. I think it really does just come down to the game is a mess. I think he's done a good job of his mod. It is kind of busted in the oceans, but there's a lot of legitimate reasons, and it does have its place, and it does have its weaknesses and vulnerabilities. And we don't know what the new taming mechanic will be if they ever change away from knockout, but even then with knockout, it's not that easy. So it kind of really comes together. Yeah, overall, I would recommend this. I just had to make a couple of points clear first, but altogether, I like this. I really do like the Talosaurus, and I think it'd be even more fun with other modded sea creatures as well. Right, and that is my long conclusion. This is really, really fun. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you want to buy the Talosaurus, the link will be in the video description down below or the ID on the screen right now, and I'll see you all again next time. Take care, have a wonderful day. Cheers.